what I found here is exactly uh, what I've been d d dreaming about. I've been a mayor of Kelimani City since uh, 2011, and even in my first manifest, my political manifest, when I ran to become a, a mayor, I had some dreams which uh, you have been implementing. And in 10 years, actually, I haven't, unfortunately, I haven't been able of implementing. Climate change today is a global issue. Of course, it affects different cities in different ways, or different countries in different ways, or the north uh, and the south in different ways, but it affects everybody. For example, here, you have the challenge of air pollution. We don't have that challenge yet. And actually, that's what we are trying to implement, to avoid. Like, you know, I was biking today and I felt so free to bike because here, bicycles are like the leaders, okay? You find a road and in the middle, there is a cycle line. So you can cycle in the middle. Cars are on the sides of that road. That's like a, a, a dream for a, for a cyclist. And I hope that we will be able of achieving that level of awareness. We are building in my city, in Kelimani City, the first cycle line not only in Kelimani City, not only in Zambezia province, where Kelimani is the capital, but the first cycle line in Mozambique. I'm very happy with the progress we are making, but we still have a long time, a long way to go. You, I could see that your buses are run on gas. Your trains are either electric or run by gas. Uh, your trams are run on electricity and so on. So I think that's the model. That's where we should be aiming. And Mozambique has got a lot of potential, okay? We don't have winter, okay? So we have got uh, summer all year round. So like, you know, solar energy, you know, like could be the solution for the challenges, for the energy challenges that Mozambique face. But also the eolic wind energy is there because like Kelimani is 20 kilometers from the sea. So like, you know, we have a lot of wind, we have a lot of waves, we have uh, a, a, a lot of sun. So if we add the knowledge, the human capital that's needed for that, then I think that you know, we could be implementing. So that's why I'm here to learn to see if we can make the partnership between Grenoble today as the European green capital. Uh, because my dream also is to make Kelimane the African green capital. People think that you are crazy. Okay? Because, uh, because in Africa, the leader is seen as somebody who should have privilege. Like you should be driving big cars, you know? You need to show, like uh, most of my colleagues, they've got a big belly, because the belly is a signal of power. So when I go to, to a place and people say, this is the man, like, but where is his belly? I mean, so then it's associated with uh, affluence, with being distant from people, but uh, I'm bringing a new model, and a model where, like, you know, I don't need to be different from the ordinary people. On the contrary, I need to be like them. I need to inspire them, and I need to be inspired by them. I mean, that's what I, I, I think that leadership should be about. And I met your mayor, I think, you know, he's, he's, I mean, I found a lot of po common points with, with, with myself. His way of thinking, his way of doing, T today he's wearing a jeans. Well, you know, it's like, that's the kind of uh, mayors of, of, of leaders that get me inspired. It's not easy to be a mayor and to have uh, this kind of idea because you are challenging the status quo. And those in privileged position, of course, they will fight back. And they've been fighting back. In 2019, in the last elections, I ran for the governorship of my province. And my mother's house was burned. But uh, that's not what threatened me because I'm convinced that that's the way and that I've got a role to play, I've got a mission to accomplish. And of course, I will continue to do that. And I hope that uh, uh, I can get the support I need to train my young I've got a lot of young people in my city who they've got the willing to change, to do th new things, but they don't have the knowledge. So knowledge is one of the things I'm looking, more than money. I came here to look for knowledge, for training, for exchange of experiences. So I hope that people from here can go to Kelimane so to see, to learn, to share their experience. But also people from my city can come here to see in practice what my vision and my dream is. Because I see Grenoble, the European green capital, 
as the dream city I've always been dreaming to transform Kilimani into. I hope one day that dream will be realized.